Hello everybody, my name is Luchara, and this is Mega Games Tycoon 2, another episode of my Let's Play. In the last episode, we released Luchara Pocket, my second handheld. Sold extremely well. We made sure we had a couple games ready for it as soon as it came out, which definitely helped. Um, we also made another arcade machine, Candy Crash 5. It's uh, <laughs> We already basically made our money back, and it's only been selling for three weeks. So that's a good sign, right? <laughs> Um, and we're currently making Jump Out, which is our first ever survival game. So that should be good. Hopefully it's at least 70% um, quality review score, which will allow us to uh, get a uh, an achievement. Um, although um, somebody pointed out um, that I screwed up um, for both Candy Crash 5 and Jump Out. I used the wrong engine. I forgot to change it. They're both using the action engine. So that's on me. Basically cleaned up the awards. Variety Master did well. Airplanes for Savings 3. But today, we are going to buy... Well, which one of these is smaller? This looks like it's bigger. 180. 873 square meters. 745 square meters. 714. Oh, wow. This one looks big, but this is the real big one, I guess. All right. So, let's, uh, let's buy this. We are going to self-publish in here. So we will need a stock room. So basically, for now at least, this whole room is just going to be ded dedicated, or this whole building is going to be dedicated to self-production. So we're going to make a nice big stock room. Put the door in. Boom. So we can store a lot. We can store 4.15 million units. All right. So let's make a couple of production rooms here. That is the wrong thing right here is where we want to be. The right size. How many machines can that fit? Three? You know what, three is enough, that's good. Although I think we could have made this one smaller. Like I think you just go like this. You could fit the same amount, right? I'm pretty sure. All right, perfect. So we're gonna have like three production rooms ready to go off the start. Boom, done, okay, so that's ready. That's ready for when Jump Out is done. So the main development team is almost done. Um, advertising, is almost, advertising is almost done. Graphics team is polishing, QA is almost done. Sound is almost done, so it's almost done, just straight up. Our next game is going to be what? Strategy probably should be <laughs> should be what I do. Just looking at that, it definitely would make sense to do a strategy game. So let's update our strategy engine. It's been a while since we did strategy, I think, isn't it? I mean, the engine's not super out of date though. I feel like it's been a while. Let's do the chair pocket because it's selling really well. 2.17 that engine okay and so the my backup qa team has been squashing bugs this whole time only 60 to 80 estimate but it's not quite done yet so let's do a uh release for the press we're not going to overhype it because we're not expecting it to be that good and again we're going to lose a little bit of review score because we use the wrong engine i mean it still works the engine still works it's just it's not optimized for that that uh genre right it's optimized for action games, which is obviously not what it is. All right, so what do we want to do here now? Um, I guess we could do we could do a demo for Candy Crash Five. It's only down in the ninety-seven hype though, so that'll put it back to a hundred probably. All right, so the estimated rating is up to seventy to ninety now. So I think we can put this out. So self distribution. So. Charging $29, so that's a $25 profit. We were getting a $15 profit on uh on our by publishing through our subsidiary. Let's uh let's throw a poster and a sticker in there. So you know we're down to $24.45 profit. Oh no. Lux edition has what? A bunch of fancy stuff. Actually, let's just put the poster in. Because nobody will ever buy the deluxe edition if the standard edition has almost all the same things. Right? In theory. 
All right, perfect. Um, let's give ourselves two weeks. So how many copies are we likely to sell of this? This is an exclusive for only my consoles. So we can look 84% review score. That's good. So we can look at this. Well, this was for four of my consoles though. Um, so I don't really have anything I can compare to particularly now that it's the holiday season. I want to see, oh wow, the chair pocket is selling well over the holiday season. Quite well. Kind of wish I had one of these rooms a bit bigger, but I mean, we're looking at 500,000 copies, probably enough, probably too many actually. What's that 200,000? Let's go, let's do, th let's do 200,000 for the base, you know, original run. Um, we'll do like 25,000 deluxe, say, 10 collectors and put it on automatic so then we don't have to worry about it anymore okay so and now well we gotta wait for that stride engine to be done so let's uh wait for that to be done let's do a game report here oh, we got a couple game reports to do um do i have any more game testers i can put in here i'd like to get a couple more in there yeah we can put you and you in there all right, we're gonna do a test. So somebody had the comment, instead of doing these big rooms, they suggest that I do four, like instead of having a room that fits 20 people, have four rooms that fit five, right? And their rationale was you can do four games at a time. And while it'll take a little bit longer to make a single game, you can, um, you'll get way more games out. But in my mind, if there's a quarter of the people in there, it's going to take four times as long to make the game, right? And therefore, you wouldn't you wouldn't get ahead doing like that. And I don't know. I, I could be wrong, right? So we're going to do a test here because we can do a test. We're, we're rich, right? Like, it's fine. We can play around here. So we want to get 20 people in here. So let's move three of these. Um, let's do one game designer, one programmer, and one graphics person. Sure. Put them in there, and then we'll grab what we want. We want to have five, so let's grab one, two, three, four, five people. Put them in here. So we're going to develop these two games at the same time. They're going to be the same size, um, same genre, same everything. This game, we're not, we're never going to release this game. We're going to cancel it. So we're literally throwing millions of dollars away <laughs> just for the sake of this test. But I'm okay with that because I want to see. So strategy game, right? Was the plan. Ooh, jump out is not selling really well <laughs> right now. Only 3000. That's kind of a yikes, but you know, that's okay. So industry five, uh, what do we want to do for a subtopic? Agriculture, industry farm, industry five farms, <laughs> short and sweet. Um, will be size A, maybe, maybe size A, maybe size B. We will, I'll remember to change the engine this time. And we will do, go by tech level here. So we're looking at, well, we're gonna put my two consoles in there for sure. And we'll go the C63 and looks like the personal computer, just barely, okay. Um, everything looks good there. This looks locked in. Beautiful. Turn on everything here. 23 to 30. And we're not going to cut any costs there. And then we'll come over here. I'm going to do the same thing. Like the literal exact same thing. Um, where, where's it at? 
Oh, we probably can't now. All right, so the fact that it's not a not a sequel, I don't think really matters, right? Strategy, um, industry. We'll even do it the same. Uh, industrialization and agriculture for adults. I just did a random name because, like I said, this game is not even going to see the market. And then we go personal computer. Luke's Vision, Pocket, and what was the other one I used? C63, Strat Engine. Okay, everything looks good there. Get these all where they need to be. So my theory, I think that by the time the main game is done and ready to be put out, oh, what did I have here? I had this at 45, I had these like way down here that I think so again I'm trying to do everything the exact same but my theory is when this game is done and ready to be put out this game will only be a quarter done maybe 30 35 percent that's my theory I could be wrong but this is how you test it right um, so yeah so we're not gonna do the act this extra room stuff for the game that we're gonna cancel. But that shouldn't, in like having these extra rooms does not impact how long it takes them to do this, right? So that that shouldn't matter for the purposes of the test. Um, and we're gonna market it, of course. We're gonna market the game that, you know, we're not gonna cancel. <laughs> All right, so we got one person in here. Let's see if we can fill this room up a little bit. Um, yeah, yeah, we can throw these two in there. So we're going to be taking five people. We're going to leave this room full. We're going to take these five and put them back in here when it's done. But we can, uh, in the meantime, we can fill this room up a bit with a programmer or two. Okay, just so they can actually do something <laughs> while this test goes through. All right, so let's let's let this test go here. Come on, jump out. Sell more in week two, please. Pretty please. I mean, technically that was more. <laughs> Not much more, though. All right, so, yeah, so this is about to drop because the holiday season just ended, but 90,000, that's still pretty good. And 60,000, that's better than it used to be, right? So I'm not really going to complain. All right, and we got a bug fix here. So, yeah, they're doing better than I thought they would. Doing better than I thought they would. Yeah, so it's gonna be it's gonna be between thirty and thirty five percent when this is done, I think. So they don't they don't work quite as slow as I suspected they would, but I, I don't think it's worth making a bunch of small rooms. Is basically, yeah, I just don't think it's worth it. So, how do we cancel that? <laughs> Can we cancel this? Oh, I, I hey, I actually got refunded. Seven hundred thousand. That's I did not expect to get refunded anything. All right, so let's just make sure everything is hunky dory here. Let's uh, destroy this room. What kind of game we're we gonna make next? Make sure that that ready. Sports, we gotta do sports. Sports are kind of supposed to be my thing, right? And <laughs> I haven't been doing it, but actually I don't need to update the engine for that. I think this sports game, it'll be my last game tech level one. I wanna do one last tech level one. That's for all four of my consoles. And then we move on to tech level two or, or better for the rest of the series pretty much. And let's uh, end automation. I think there might be something, oh, I guess, might be something good to do besides console stuff because I just put a console out, right? Super Lutero television. I want to let it breathe. I don't want to rush another console right now. So let's do a free update for Candy Grass 5 because its sales have. Oh, wait. This Candy Crash. Yes, yeah, sorry. Because <laughs> there's Candy Crash 5 for consoles and then there's Candy Crash 5 for arcade machines and those are two 
vastly different things. All right, so we're still waiting for QA to be done here. So we need more people in this QA room, which is fine because you can fit way more people in there than I have. There we go. That should help. And man, it's taking, it took a long time for them to finish. But again, the room was understaffed a bit, right? So we got an engine feature. My first tech level three thing, which we probably won't use for a bit. There's barely any tech level three consoles out there. Oh, actually, you know what? I completely forgot to do pre-release press. And we're gonna overhype this. I should have been doing that while I was waiting for QA. I've been missing a lot of things the last couple episodes, I find. I've been, I know there's a lot going on, but I'm still missing more stuff than I should be. Yeah, Jump Out is, I don't know why it's selling so poorly. Is there a way to see what other games are, like what do they cost? So that's the review score of it. I don't think there's a way to check. Hey, the chair go, chair vision, chair pocket. They're all up there. All right, um, overhype. We did overhype already, right? We're just waiting to see if it actually works or not. It did not. All right, anyway, let's put this out. Finish development. Self-distribution. So this one, I'm expecting to sell a lot of copies of. But maybe not. No, this is going to sell really well, I think. feel like... Wait, did I do self-distribution? Yeah, okay. It gave myself two weeks. Um... So let's produce, let's do 200,000 here and then go automatic. And then we'll just make an extra couple hundred thousand here, but not automatic just to get some copies out there faster. Just to make sure we have it in stock by the time it comes out. I guess I probably didn't need to do that. All right, so Candy Crash 5 off the market. It was an exclusive for the Super Rich Air Vision made 93,000 sales of my console, made a profit. That's all that really matters for those, right? Cause I mean, you look at our profit for our consoles, like let's add up these profit numbers, 186, 284. So that's like 410 million, uh, 520 million, almost 600 million profit from these consoles. Oh, hey, look, that's more than I have in the bank. So anytime we can generate console sales, that's a good thing. So now we are going to make sports game. Um, we're going to call with Luchera Hockey 87, I think. Yeah. This will be a size A game. I'm pretty sure. And we will go with sports engine. And this will be a manufacturer exclusive. So for all four of my consoles, so the chair vision, the chair go, this is going to be the last time that we make a game for you. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Now the game's probably not going to be super awesome because of that. So let's go like that. Turn on everything. Oh, only 20 of 30. Well, we might as well go size B plus then. Save a bit of money, right? Hmm, I'm surprised. I figured sports would have had more stuff than that. Is what it is, I guess. All right, so let's quickly do a game report. Here. Research. Let's go back to researching hardware. Tech level 3 stuff. But again, I'm not in a rush to do a tech level 3 console. I, I feel like we just... We just, you know, we just put one out. You know what I mean? Not that long ago. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm underestimating how long it's been. It's been what, less than two years? Yeah, it hasn't been two years since we put out that last 
and I mean, that's ignoring our handheld. I'm talking just strictly console console, right? Stationary console. All right, so let's make everything better. Backup development teams doing an update for jump out. They're now done. So let's do an update for, we want to do a super early update for industry five. It's not even out yet. So it'd be a day one patch. Let's do another one for quest for the booty. It's selling pretty well, especially considering it's a exclusive. Who like a couple of my consoles? Who cut scenes? All right, so they're done. Let's do some commission work, and then they can bug fix. I think it'll be good. All right, so we lost twenty hype. That just means we have to do one extra TV spot. That's fine. I mean, it's five hundred thousand dollars, <laughs> so it is kind of costly, but it's okay. It's okay. We're okay with that. We're not going to get too choked up about that. Wow, it's taking them a really long time to do this <laughs> commission work. Okay. The second one's going much faster. That first one was a big commission or a big contract, I guess you would say. But yeah, I'm pretty sure. Let's continue development. It's, that's not ready. We're near ready. Uh, we got some commission work here. But yeah, I think we can do tech level three console. Yeah, we got all, I think just the case. Case is the only thing, and we're researching the case right now. So if I wanted, I could do a tech level three console. Is there any out there even? Can you tell that from the charts? No. It's hard to really get information sometimes. I mean, buy dev kits, like, like the PC and the Mac are obviously tech level three, right? So there's computers tech level three, but there's no tech level three consoles yet. So we could, I could be the first, but it'll crash Super Terravision sales, right? And maybe that's okay. I mean, it's the Lucera Pocket that's selling really well, right? Maybe it'd be okay to crash those sales. All right, we still need to do some marketing so we can polish it while it markets. But as as we grow here, um, I'm going to need more production rooms. Um, as we continue to grow, like, because we did this task because somebody suggested making small rooms so you can work in more than one game at once. I am going to do that. I am going to have at least... Like by the end of it, I'm going to have at least three, if not four development teams. One of them will be like this, where they do like side work, right? But the other two are going to be actually making games. And I'm either going to have multiple of these rooms or just have really big. Well, I already have two QA rooms. You get the idea. I mean, what else am I going to do with all this space? Like, yeah, we'll have a server room when we do MM MMOs, but server room does not take up that much space right oh hey some it's been a while since we sold an engine i feel like isn't it maybe it's just me all right so is jump out worth doing an update for industry 5 is actually i'm a little disappointed in industry 5 sales because that's not like exclusive to my systems No, I'm I'm definitely disappointed in the no sales. There's there's no other way to put it. All right, let's do a pre-release press for Lucera Hockey 87. Let's do a large booth here. What needs hype? Jump out needs some hype. Candy Crash, the arcade game needs some hype. Quest for the Booty needs some hype. Um, let's do our two new consoles. So those will get some, get a boost. All right, so we got a legendary graphic artist on the market. I feel like like nine of the 10 legendaries that I've seen this run have been graphics artists. Maybe that's just me, but certainly feels like there's a lot of them. Um, oh, so did we know that the trend was gonna be skill? We did, or well, we, we had a hunch that it was gonna be skill. All right, so there's no reason to not put this out, right? 70 to 90, I would have liked to have seen higher. Self-distribute, two weeks. 
I'm getting good at stuff. Oh, this was only tech level one, though. A 89% for a tech level one game. We are now an influential game company. Oh, that also factors in. So, like, because we self publish these, these two, um, you're, the number of your stars you have definitely matters for self publishing. So, that's actually a good thing. All right, so let's let's just do what we've been doing. Two hundred thousand to start. I feel like we're not selling our collectors and deluxe editions like I hope we would. So let's do a smaller amount of those. And away we go. So hopefully that sells well. Fingers crossed. All right. So um, yeah, might as well stop the video here. Um, actually, let's end this video with a little bit of a joke here. Um, I'm going to make a game <laughs> soon. This is based off a comment. Um, oh, it's not there. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not a thing. So somebody suggests in the comments that I make a game for Luchera Pocket called Luchera Pocket Pool, a pool game. And if, if you don't get the joke, I'm not going to explain it to you. It is what it is. Anyway, we're going to see if pool is a topic we can research. If it is, we'll make that game. If not, we'll figure something else to make. Anyway, that's all for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day. And a good Thanksgiving to all my American friends out there. And I'll see you in the next one.